Okay guys, now there is another tutorial for uh, repairing of a Yale latch board. Now the, the way to open it is that uh, it should be there are two uh, piercing uh, uh, expansion here. So we'll have to take this out by from that side here. Okay. Okay guys, now let's proceed with the Yale latch boat repair. Now we were been able to remove the cover plate and also the uh, counter plate, right? Let's put that aside. Now the problem with this, why it, I open it and see because even though this uh, anti-prime bolt is depressed this main bolt is not locking it so we will try to investigate what is the problem well with this kind of trouble if uh, this lock is on the main door well it's better to transfer this latch bolt to the inside room and you know swap it if it is the inside room latch bolt is working properly just swap it because on this kind you see in the movies when they can insert a plastic on it and open your door if it is on the main door on the inside it's not much of importance okay so let's try and take it out now on this yellow latch bolt you can proceed by slowly taking it out it is taking out in one piece all right we'll put that aside now we will see and investigate why it's not locking the anti-prime board. Alright. Now this is the locker. Alright. And yeah. I had found out that you see this little piece here, this black piece. This black piece. Right. You can see it. That, that black piece is broken. You know, the one which is... Uh, a counter, a counter uh, tail on it that push it down is broken that's why this locker is not uh, locking on the uh, anti-prime bolt uh, link so okay so this is the trouble here okay so we'll have to replace this and I have a lot of uh, parts for Yale, which is uh, those last bolts which was totally broken. Then I was able to extract one of the parts, which is still okay. And this is the one. As you can see, you see the difference. The tail on that side and this one is already broken. See that? There is no more tail that uh, counter press it down okay so okay we'll replace that with this one okay now i will try to proceed further you know uh, there are times when you had uh, spread it out and you are uh, worried to put it back you have trouble okay let's try and spread it out and i will itemize to you the sequence of installing it back okay this part here let them be as uh, one okay do not separate it so that you will not be confused later on okay now this is the slider all right let's focus the camera a little bit okay now this is the slider all right this should be on this position on the round part of this board all right so in short it is at the bottom okay now once you inserted this this should be inserted first okay and then you can insert this 
thing here. Now, one thing to notice is that on the other side, there are non-equal uh, cut. There is one that is uh, not cut straight. So, on this part, you know, on this slider, the part which is flat, that will be its place. Right? So, there are two parts of this, okay? See? That is the plain part and there is the uh, non-equal parts, okay? So, let's join them together. And then, the one on the top, which is uh, straight the cut, that belongs to this part here. So, that will go there this all right now the next thing or the next part to install is this one you don't have to install this first then before this okay it should be installed after you install this part here okay so after you install that then you can put it at the side at the bottom slide it down and that's it it locks it will not it will not fall anymore see that next we'll try to install the spring so you can install the spring whichever uh, place first okay let's start at the bottom start this from here like that you see and then slowly turn it down and insert the anti-prying uh, board on this side after that install the spring okay now that's how it is now it is in one piece now right now after you have done that you install this mechanism now okay and it should be on this side where the you see that with the two protruding part both side is located so you put it there okay don't put it on that side where there is no uh, two protruding part on both side because that will lock you cannot uh, even the big bolt will not goes in right so it goes on this part here okay please be uh, reminded about that so that you will not uh, remove it again and change the configuration okay now you can slide it okay slide it slowly now it goes there okay now it is in position you try it you, you press this and then press the bolt if it goes down no that means that's okay when the anti-prying bolt is uh, depressed, this will not go fully in, right? So then, that's the time to reassemble. All right. So put this down. Hold this because that will sprung out if you release it until you put this cover on the other side. Okay, so that's how it goes now. All right, now let's try and lock it that's fine now so okay let's try it once this is depressed this will not go fully in that's correct that means this is working right now we will check it with the latch bolt here with the yell okay yeah that's that's working fine okay folks so that's how to repair the yell latch bolts whenever you have trouble with and how to reassemble it back. So thanks for watching and good day.